Okay, I can say there's been so many questions on the ADCC B Team Assault video. I'm going to rapid fire answer some of those update questions and where we're at right now with the incident. As discussed before, the teams involved are Team Muller and B Team. Vince is the one that's jumping off of Jared's back at the end of the match and then gets pushed by Jared. Both athletes were essentially separated from there, and then you see Kieran from B Team run across, and this is where he throws the punch on Jared. Again, from across the mat, you see Vince step on him. Jared's going to push Vince. And then immediately, our professors and the staff are going to separate both of them. Vince is going to put his hands up and start walking away. And then you're going to see Kieran throw the punch, knocking Jarrett to the ground. There was some debate on whether Team Moeller or teammates were outnumbering Vince at this point. But it is very clear Travis Clark, the professor right there, separates Jarrett. And then everybody is de-escalating while then Kieran escalates the situation further. As I mentioned in my previous video, Craig Jones reached out later that night immediately to follow up on what happened. And the next day, ADCC promised legal action against the B-team athlete who sucker punched Jarrett. When looking at this event in particular, I think you have to take in all the context and whether pressing charges is enough or not. It's not just the punch, but it's simply fleeing the facility, all the staff that had to chase him, damaging property, knocking over vendor materials, and you know the toll that that takes on a tournament as a whole while we're in the process of all trying to compete and enjoy ourselves. And we'll get back to talking about what the repercussions should be. But who is Kieran? <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was good. good yeah. I'm Kieran Kichuk. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I won the Finishers 155 qualifier for the Emerald City Championship. So that was my my big breakout. That was like 10 straight matches I won. If you count the uh, overtimes all by submission, uh, that like propelled my career forward so much. I really didn't have, have too much going professionally until that. So I'm Winner. The overall winner, Kieran Kichuk, man of the hour. The Canadian black belts not the biggest of names now he's been on our radar for about the last year or so he's one of those guys that uh, we've been keeping our eye on but this is by far his biggest results and something of a breakout moment for anybody who's watched him compete this guy's a sub -hunter. he's a finisher there's been a lot of talk in comparison to other adcc fights including the one where a guy pulled out a knife two years ago these are all instances that are very justifiable to compare to and whether adcc pressing charges on b team specifically Kieran, is uncalled for or not. So as people have said, yes, he is a Canadian citizen, meaning if it comes down to legal charges, he's here on an athlete visa, and that could very easily lead to deportation. So I'm not gonna chime in on whether I think that is what should happen or not. I think obviously repercussions have to be faced. There's consequences when it comes to doing something like that at a tournament, um, whether that should just be within the tournament, whether that should be legal repercussions or anything that could end his career. I'm just not going to speak on that. Whether charges take place, it's up to Jared and the people involved, not me, not you. We can all chime in on our opinion, but let me know in the comments. And if there's any other questions I can answer, I'll try my best.